Felix Sansaro. Would you like to know the answers? Let us see. The first question is, write the coordinates of another point on the line passing through the points A21, B71. Write the coordinates of a point on the line perpendicular to this line and passing through B71. Let us first mark the points 21 and 71. Now let us draw the line joining 21 and 71. See, this is a line parallel to x axis and passing through 1 on y axis. And this line is 1. So we can write any point with y coordinate 1. For example, 3, 1, 4, 1, 5, 1 are all points on this line. Now let us draw a line perpendicular to this line and passing through 7, 1. See, this line is parallel to y axis and passing through 7 on x axis. So the x coordinate of every point on this line is 7. So we can write any point with x coordinate 7. For example, 7, 1, 7, 2, 7, 3 are all points on this line. The second question is, in the figure angle B equal to 90 degree, BC equal to 12 centimeters and C equal to 3 by 4. Find the length of AB, find tan A. Let us look at the figure at first. Given that tan C equal to 3 by 4, what is tan? Opposite side by adjacent side. Here, which is the opposite side of angle C? AB and adjacent side BC. So we can write AB by BC equal to 3 by 4. But it is given that BC equal to 12 cm. So we can write AB by 12 equal to 3 by 4. Now AB equal to 3 by 4 into 12. Now see 3 by 4 into 12. 3 4s are 12 so you can cancel like this and you will get 3 into 3 so AB equal to 9 centimeter thus we got AB now we have to find tan A tan A means opposite side by adjacent side which is the opposite side of angle A B C and adjacent side AB so we can write tan A equal to BC by AB. Now we know BC is 12 and AB is 9. So that is 12 by 9. And again you can simplify. 3 3's are 9 and 4 3's are 12. So it is equal to 4 by 3. Or tan A equal to 4 by 3. Now the third question. In the figure PA, PB are tangents. O is the center of the circle. If the radius of the circle is 3 cm and P equal to 4 cm, what is the length of PB? Find the length of OP. Here, PA and PB are tangents from the point P to the circle. So, they are equal. Therefore, PB equal to 4 cm. Now let us look at the second part of the question. We have to find the length of OP. Here OA is the radius and PA is the tangent through the point of contact. Therefore triangle OAP is a right angle triangle and OP is its hypotenuse. And we know hypotenuse square equal to base square plus altitude square. So, OP square equal to OA square plus PA square. That is 3 square plus 4 square. That is 9 plus 16. So, OP square equal to 25 and hence OP equal to 5 cm. Fourth problem. Volume of a wooden cube is 729 cubic centimeters. A square pyramid of maximum size is carved out from it. What is the volume of the pyramid? What is the height of the pyramid? Let us find the side of the cube at first. 
given that volume of cube is 729 cm cube that is a cube equal to 729 and therefore the side of the cube a is cube root of 729 or that is equal to 9 centimeter now which is the square pyramid of maximum size that can be carved out from a cube the one having the same base and height and we know the volume of a square pyramid is 1 by 3rd of the volume of the square prism with same base and height. Here, cube is a square prism with base sets equal to height. Therefore, volume of the pyramid is 1 by 3rd of the volume of the cube or 729 by 3 and that is equal to 243 centimeter cube. We can do this problem in another way also. We know volume of a square pyramid is 1 by 3 a square x. Here a is 9. Therefore that is equal to 1 by 3 into 9 square into 9. Or that is equal to 9 cube by 3. And that is equal to 729 by 3. Now the second part of the question, we have already seen that the height of the pyramid is equal to the height of the cube or side of the cube that is 9 centimeter. Fifth problem, in triangle ABC, AB equal to 12 centimeter, angle A equal to 30 degree, angle B equal to 60 degree, find the area of the triangle. Here angle A equal to 30 degree, angle B equal to 60 degree. Therefore, angle C equal to 90 degree. So, first of all, let us draw a right angle triangle. And we have seen that C is the right angle. Now, angle A equal to 30 degree and angle B equal to 60 degree. Also, given that AB is 12 centimeter. It's a triangle with angles 30 degree, 60 degree, 90 degree. So the ratio between the sides is 1 is to root 3 is to 2. That is BC is to CA is to AB equal to 1 is to root 3 is to 2. Therefore BC equal to 6 cm and CA equal to 6 root 3 cm. Now the area of the right angle triangle is half into base into altitude that is half into bc into ca that is half into 6 into 6 root 3 or 18 root 3 centimeter square sixth problem the sides of a rectangle are parallel to the axis coordinates of a pair of opposite vertices are 3 5 7 8 write the coordinates of other two vertices of the rectangle calculate the length of its diagonal First of all, let us draw a rectangle, that is be A, B, C, D. Given that a pair of opposite vertices are 3, 5 and 7, 8. Now, on a line parallel to Y axis, X coordinates are C. So, the X coordinate of B is 7. Similarly, on a line parallel to X axis, Y coordinates are C. So, the Y coordinate of B is 5. So, the coordinates of B are 7. 5. Similarly, D is on a line parallel to Y axis. So, the X coordinate is 3. It is again on a line parallel to X axis. So, the Y coordinate is 8. That is, the coordinates of D are 3, 8. Now, let us draw the diagonal AC. Now, we can see ABC is a right angle triangle and AC is its hypotenuse. To find the hypotenuse, we need base and altitude, that is the length of AB and BC. The length of AB is the distance from the points 3, 5 to 7, 5 and that is 4. And similarly, the length of BC is 3. Therefore, AC square equal to AB square plus BC square. 
that's equal to 4 square plus 3 square and that is equal to 16 plus 9 or AC square is 25 and hence AC equal to 5. Seventh problem. Circum radius of an equilateral triangle is 4 cm. Draw the triangle, measure its side. Draw a circle of radius 4 cm at first. Now draw a radius OA. Now taking 120 degree at the center, draw another radius OB. Again take 120 degree at the center and draw another radius OC. Now join A to B and B to C and C to A to get the required triangle ABC. Now measuring the side you can see it's almost 6.9 cm. Eighth problem. In the figure PA and PB are tangents. Angle C equal to 50 degree. Write the angle measures of triangle PAB. What is the measure of angle P if angle C equal to angle P? Given that angle C equal to 50 degree, therefore angle PAB equal to 50 degree and angle PB equal to 50 degree. You know the sum of the three angles of a triangle is 180 degree. Therefore to find angle P, we have to subtract the sum of the other two angles from 180. Hence angle P equal to 80 degree. Now the second part of the problem, we have already seen that angle C equal to angle A and angle B in triangle PAB. So if angle C equal to angle P, then all the three angles of the triangle PAB are equal. Hence each angle should be 60 degree. Therefore angle P is 60. Ninth problem. What is the sum of first 10 terms of the arithmetic sequence 1, 2, 3, etc.? Sum of how many terms of the sequence starting from the first is 300? We know sum of n terms of an arithmetic sequence is n into n plus 1 by 2. Therefore sum of 10 terms equal to 10 into 11 by 2, that is 55. In the second part of the problem, let the sum of n terms be 300. Then n into n plus 1 by 2 equal to 300 and n into n plus 1 equal to 300 into 2 that is 600. Multiplying n square plus n equal to 600. Now let us use completing square method. Here the coefficient of n is 1. Making it half we will get 1 by 2 and adding the square of 1 by 2 on both sides we will get n square plus n plus half whole square equal to 600 plus half whole square. Now the left hand side is a perfect square and that is n plus half whole square. On the right hand side we can add 600 plus 1 by 2 whole square that is 1 by 4. Now let us add 600 plus 1 by 4 that is 600 into 4 plus 1 by 4 or 2400 plus 1 by 4 or 2401 by 4. Now let us take square root on both sides and plus half is equal to plus or minus root of 2401 by 4. Now let us find the square root on the RHS that is n plus half is equal to plus or minus 49 by 2. So we can make two equations n plus half equal to 49 by 2 or n plus half equal to minus 49 by 2. From the first one we can write n equal to 49 by 2 minus 1 by 2 and that is 48 by 2 or that is equal to 24. And from the second one we can write n plus half equal to minus 49 by 2 that is n equal to minus 49 by 2 minus 1 by 2 that is n equal to minus 50 by 2 or n equal to minus 25. So we have got two values for n 24 and minus 25. But the value of n cannot be negative so n equal to 24 or the sum of 
24 terms of the sequence is 300. 10th problem. The basis of a wooden square pyramid is 10 cm and its height is 12 cm. What is the slant height? Find the radius and slant height of the cone of maximum size that can be carved out from this. Given that base is equal to 10 cm and height equal to 12 cm, we know the square of the slant height L square is equal to h square plus a by 2 all square, that is 12 square plus 5 square, or 144 plus 25, or L square equal to 169, therefore L equal to 13, that is slant height equal to 13 centimeters. Now the second part of the problem, which is the cone of the maximum size that can be carved out from this square pyramid. The one having the same height and the diameter equal to the base edge of the square pyramid. Therefore, the height of the cone is 12 centimeter and since the diameter equal to 10, the radius equal to 5 centimeter. Now we know slant height square is equal to h square plus r square that is 12 square plus 5 square that is 144 plus 25 that is equal to 169 therefore the slant height l is equal to 13 centimeters. In the 11th problem a cone of maximum size is made with a sector of radius 12 centimeters and center angle 120 degree. Find the slant height and radius of the cone. The ratio between the radius and slant height of a cone is 2 is to 5. What is the central angle of the sector used to make this cone? Let the radius of the sector be capital R and the central angle be x degree. Let the radius of the cone be small r and slant height be L. Then, given that radius of the sector is 12 cm, and central angle equal to 120 degree. We know that the radius of the sector equal to the slant height of the cone. Therefore, slant height of the cone equal to 12 centimeter. Now let us find the radius of the cone. For that we know R by L equal to X by 360. Here slant height of the cone is 12 centimeter and central angle of the sector is 120 degree. Replacing the values, we will get R by 12 equal to 120 by 360. Now, 120 by 360 equal to 1 by 3, so we can write it as R by 12 equal to 1 by 3. Taking 12 on the other side, we can write R equal to 1 by 3 into 12. Now, 1, 3 is 3 and 4, 3 is 12. So, we can cancel like this and we will get 1 into 4 that is equal to 4. Therefore, radius of the cone equal to 4 centimeters. In the second part of the problem, given that the ratio between the radius and slant height of the cone is 2 is to 5, that is r is to l equal to 2 is to 5 or r by l equal to 2 by 5. Now we know r by l equal to x by 360 that is 2 by 5 equal to x by 360. Taking 360 on the other side, we will get x equal to 2 by 5 into 360. Now, 1 5 is 5 and 72 5s are 360. So, we will get 2 into 72 that is equal to 144. Hence, the central angle is equal to 144 degrees.